Hey folks, Species 7 here. How y'all doing this fine weekend? So I'm out here on the farm once again. And this is of course Hagenstadt My Way version 3. It is the map that I'm playing this on. Um, care of Mr. J. Turner 10 over at the FSUK mod site. Which is where all of the mods you see appearing in this farming simulator series are from. Or they're from the actual Farming Simulator Giant's own mod site. So, And speaking of which... Well, the tractor's not a mod, and this little animal here called a Profi Hopper is not a mod, but the trailer is. And that is the Cane Low Load. Oops, I didn't actually mean to get on there. The Cane Low Load trailer, and it's available at uh, both the FSUK site and at Giant's own uh, simulator modding site. And I'm just... I don't want to say that it's by who I think it is unless it actually is. Because I've kind of forgot. Harvesters, tippers, no, uh, there we go. It is, okay, it's NI Modding. Very, very popular modding. Really good modding team. You'll find a lot of their stuff on uh, FSUK. So there we go. And on top of it is a uh, little profi hopper. And what I need to do with that, all I'm going to do here actually is uh, I need to lower the ramp on this um, trailer so I can get my little profi hopper off. Oop, a little too much. There we go. Let's hop out of that. Let's jump up here and hop into our little profi hopper, which of course is uh, basically just a glorified lawnmower. Now, oops, okay. <laughs> There's something I forgot to do here. There we go. I forgot to unlock the load. Um, basically trailers and some other devices in this game so that whatever you put on them doesn't end up flying off on corners. You can lock them to the trailer. Um, some devices uh, as soon as you start, uh, you take control of whatever it is on the trailer and move it, it'll automatically unlock it. Some it won't, and this trailer apparently doesn't. I got this little bugger because it's a good way to feed your sheep. Um, in fact, it'll keep your sheep fed pretty much for the entire time you own them, unless you get stupid amounts of them. Um, and it's really simple to run. It's B to turn it on. Let's get right down into the cockpit view. And then uh, you can hit a cruise control, like three. I think that's probably a bit loud. Hang on here. There we go. And I hit the cruise control, and you can see we're up 18, 19, 20%. And away we go. So, yeah, and my. Uh, Feed the Beast Ultimate a Let's Play series. I mentioned that I didn't put any videos up last weekend because I decided, to, after reading an article about uh, LucasArts Games being shut down after Disney purchased it, or at least kind of changing its direction, but pretty much shutting it down, I decided that something I'd always meant to do and had never tried was uh, the uh, Star Wars Online. And since it's free to play, you really don't have much to lose. So, uh, well, I found out what you do have to lose is uh, pretty much an entire day uh, <laughs> of being able to download anything else. Um, I looked around the site and stuff, and I signed up, and I did all that. And then about 10.30 Saturday morning, wow, is it every foggy here in Hagenstadt today? About 10.30 on Saturday morning, I started downloading Star Wars The Old Republic online. And at uh, about 4.30 Saturday afternoon, it was ready to install and patch. So, yeah, I stayed on, I loaded the game up and long enough to create a character, and then Sunday I played for a while. So, I actually played for quite a while on Sunday. Over the course of the week, um, I noticed when I logged in on Thursday, 
that it said that they were going to be shut down on Friday night or Saturday morning or something because they've got this big uh, new new update and new patch that they're putting on to their game. So, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but 7 miles an hour, that's as fast as this thing goes. Um, they had a new patch for their game, right? So I thought, well, that's cool. Well, uh, and you notice when you get close enough, it turns to a dump symbol. I thought, well, that's cool. I'm going to uh, put a little bit of time in here. And so I played a little bit on Thursday. And then Friday morning, I went, well, I think I'll put a little more time just before they shut the servers down. And, uh, well, I logged in, and there was a message on my thing as soon as I clicked on my character. There was a message that said, uh, It said that, uh, to progress any further on that character, and yes, I tried to create new character on the open slot that I had and got the same message, um, I needed to go to the site and confirm my email address. Now that seemed fair considering that I never actually did have to confirm it before. So I go to the site they suggest. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll finish this in a sec. If we look down on my PDA there, you can see we have 50 sheep. Productivity is only 50%. That's because they haven't been fed anything. Okay. Feeding trough is at zero. So we're going to empty our little lawnmower. Um, so anyway, it said I had to confirm my email. So I logged into my account at uh, SWOTOR there, or whatever they call it, and uh, had a look. And sure enough, there is a way to get to where you can, you know, put your email down. And I noticed that the slot that said email um, was empty. So I put my email address in there and clicked save and a little green thing popped up at the top and said you will be sent a notification to your email, blah blah blah, to, as soon as you click it you're confirmed. Well, it never showed up and didn't show up yesterday, didn't show up today, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess with their new patch they're a little bit busy, so. Okay, now the sheep will come and you'll eat and then they'll... Uh, be a little more productive for us once they get something in their bellies. But as I say, this is the quickest way to keep them fed. Right? And uh, if I fill up this profi hopper once more and dump it in here, it'll probably take about half of it and then it'll tell me I have a six day supply. So, But let's hop back into this bugger because I'm thinking, well, not quite yet, but um, this shows you where you are with your crops. As you can see, we've got, uh, what, eight, nine, ten fields planted. Um, this is only grass, though, so it won't go bad. Uh, we've got ten fields planted, of which these three are getting right up to the end of the growing, almost ready to harvest cycle. So, I'm just keeping an eye on that. I actually sped up time through the night. Um, you see where the claw or the uh, time and the cloud is. If you press your eight key, see it goes 30x, 120x, and then seven back down. Well, that's speeding up time. The default is 5x normal. So now let's raise up the gate. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And get this thing turned around. So, as I say, so a couple of passes up this little tiny strip of grass here is more than enough to fill the sheep's trough. And we have 50 of them. So, once they actually go from 5% production, because they haven't been fed anything, to 100%, uh, they'll start producing wool pretty good. And wool is worth pretty good money once you get a, a stack of eight bales together on that little platform thing. Boy, is it ever hard to see. They added weather effects in the new patch, and uh, this is one of the effects. I haven't changed my draw distance. This is actual fog. Eh? So, yeah. <laughs> kind of bizarre. They also have actual rainstorms now. Here's one of our big fields. 
doing well. So I will, as we go along, um, explain what all the different keys and functions on the equipment are, just for those who haven't actually played it. Um, oh, and by the way, I noticed on Steam that they've got it on for about half price. I think it's about 13 bucks right now. Well worth it. If you like, uh, you know, pretty much any sort of simulator or, you know, things where it takes a little bit of thought and... You know, your skills are more based on management than they are on, you know, fast reflexes. Which for us poor old guys becomes a real challenge at a certain point. Um, then it's a hell of a great game to pick up. I mean, the visuals are nice, the amount of machinery, the modding community is just huge. So, you know, um, yeah, I, I can't say enough for it. And I'd say they just released a patch for it recently, so... You know, it's not like Giants have decided, well, we're good for 2013, year's half over, let's not bother putting any effort out until 2014 now, why should we? I really balls that up, but I forgot I was going to park the trailer inside that shed, so I'll use that as my excuse at the moment. This, uh, big 720 Deutz tracker. It doesn't take too much to get her going a little too quick in reverse. Sometimes makes it a bit difficult to back things up with. And we'll drop it off there. Excellent. 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 Did its job just fine. As did, might I add, that Kane low loader trailer again from NI Modding. Thanks to the guys there. Most of their mods, if not well... I did see one mod review that was less than generous, but beyond that, hey, everything else I've seen and used to their mods has been just flawless. And some really nice detailing, like they're really into, you know, I mean, this looks like a real trailer. I can see going to a lot and going, how much? Well, damn it, I do need one. That, that certainly looks capable. Sure, I'll take it. You know, right down to the hydraulic springs and stuff inside there, and the hitch, and it's it, really nicely detailed stuff. I like their stuff, for sure. For sure. So let's see how our forward crop is doing. Run key, if you uh, hold shift with your little finger while you're pressing the W. We must be getting close. Let's have a check here. Oh, darn close. I'm just going to quickly sped up time. Now you can see the minutes are rolling by at more than one per second. So, that definitely picks it up. We're at 7 a.m. already. Uh, they've got new textures and all the crops. It actually looks pretty damn good. How we doing? Not yet. Belly, belly soon. Mm -hmm. I like these shoulder trackers. Downloaded some more mods for the game last night. Um, what did we get? Mods by machine type. Let's start tractors. Did I get any more tractors? No, I didn't. Huh. Uh, front loaders. Well, we have this guy. But, uh, this bucket set's actually for another map. Um, it's required because they have a different grain loading system and stuff. Uh, I really wanted to play it, actually. I was going to showcase it here. And then I noticed that uh, the YouTuber who actually, when I first watched his videos, it convinced me to buy this game. That's the next map, he, map he's doing. He just finished his Season 1. and For Season 2, he's doing that map. So... Uh, I may play it on my own, but I won't be doing the thing, because, uh, yeah, turn me on to a really great game, and just the way I am. Uh, I did download a new Harvester, this Class Lexion, that again, that's from the, uh, Farm Simulator's own homepage. Uh, I'm sure I got some other stuff. I don't know where this cutter comes from, to be honest with you. I got another little utility trailer here. That's pretty cool. But, uh... 
it's probably more suitable for things like the Proppy Hopper and actually so but how are we doing? Are you ready to harvest? Oh, you look nice and yellow and ripe and all kinds of stuff here. Not yet. Wow. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and you're not ready yet. So let's just see here if, uh, maybe feeding our shop. Okay, see now sheep owned 50, productivity 100%. That's all it takes with them. Although, if we go, oops, I did it again, uh, to cows, we have 10 cows, their productivity is only 5%. And again, same reason, we need to feed them. Thing is, ah, look, now the wheat is ready. Um, what I need for them, yep is uh, what's going to be left over when I harvest this wheat because I need to do some baling. So, let's get our first on-screen harvest underway. Let's lower down the cutter. That's B, as in Victor. We'll turn it on. That's B, and then press H to hire a worker. And we'll leap back out and let him work away. We got our tractor and our tipper here all ready to take the crop when he's done with it. Now I do have another big harvester. Um, see the stubble that he leaves? We'll use a cultivator, a deep a special cultivator to get rid of that. Um, but then you've also got this. And this straw is what we want to bale up. Now there's actually two things we can do with it and we're going to do both. So. Uh, and actually, no. See, there's straw and there's hay. Now, I believe this is actually hay. I think the straw, or is it? Or is this the straw? Oh, whichever. One of them is used, for, the straw is used for both bedding and feed. The hay is only used for feed. Um, and they're both used in the mixed ration. So, yeah. Uh, cows take a little bit of work. They're not as not near as easy as uh, for instance Yes, I broke down and I bought chickens. So we now have chickens And all you do with chickens and here's a piece of advice The first time around it's not such a big deal But you'll find very quickly that walking around these chicken pens the noise of these chickens will drive you absolutely bugocious so I suggest you harvest eggs at night because the chickens all sleep at night even the rooster shuts the hell up at night so yeah it's a much more pleasant I mean I don't mind once in a while because I think the noise is kind of neat I've lived in lots of places where there was chickens close by and huh, sometimes one of them will lay it up on the top of that post and yeah, it's not a bad noise but uh, it will get on your nerves after you've harvested your first hundred eggs or so so yeah, as I say, a little uh, tip there. If you don't like the sound of the chickens, but you still want to do the eggs, just harvest your eggs at night. Chickens won't bother you. They'll all be sleeping. Even if you accidentally step on one, they don't wake up or nothing. No, oh, there we go. I just found a horseshoe. And another egg, and another egg, and another egg. Apparently if you collect a hundred horseshoes, you get something special. Well, I've never found all 100. My closest one, I think I have 82 on my closest play. And last time I looked on Steam, I had about 300 hours into this game. So, All right, there, we got a few eggs. And we're at 73% of our barley, so we should probably head over to our trailer. Do 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 do. And I don't, oops, I forgot about that. You don't want to run on 120 once the crops are up. Because what happens to a crop, once it's ripe, it does have another stage. And that other stage is it will rot. And then you have to plow it into the ground and start from scratch. That, my friends, is not a good experience. So. The other thing you end up with is too many fields coming ready at once. See, I've got two more ready here. 
this one is half ready. See, this is a different type of crop. That's why instead of going green, it went light blue, ready to harvest the tops. That's our sugar beets. That's next episode. So, first time around though, we'll show you a basic harvesting. Alrighty. Now this is a modded trailer. Um, this particular trailer, let's go to tippers. Doo -doo 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 -doo, is this one. Agriliner by Kroger. So, there you go. The modding team iFolk slash team dot de or dot deutsch german i guess so there you go again uk modding site to get that really nice it's also on the farming simulator modding site now just recently added it has some kind of neat nice things here to uh, where are we here is it zero or o o m see you can close the uh, little top vinyl piece that's kind of cool so, anyway, let's roll on up here, see how it performs for collecting crops. There we go. Right on, eh? Sure looks nice. me and I guess in the uh, oh. camera gets a little weird when you try and do some things with it and my worker in the harvester looks almost identical to me imagine that <laughs> that's hilarious all right the way he goes and why did he not pull there we go he's pulling it back in now perfect Perfect. See, we already got two little blocks. I said when you get eight, you load it up on the bale trailer right there, and we'll haul it off to the uh, the mill or spinnery, I guess that is what it's called here. There's one of our sheep. Hey, buddy. That's me. Crunch, crunch. I think they're eating peanut brittle, not grass. There's a modded version of this. Um, it actually does about 20 miles an hour and has a wider cutter on the front. So, yeah, it'll get you down to the end of the row and back in about a quarter of the time this thing does. It's pretty sick because it will cut at full speed just as this one does. You don't need to, uh, as you can see, it's going its absolute blistering six to seven miles an hour while it's running or when it's not running, it couldn't care less. So, yeah. Don't own that field, but I do own that one over there and it's full of grass. There's reasons for that. Once we own a thousand sheep, we're going to want a good supply of it here. And I do have a way to do that, so we'll take advantage of it. So yeah, you need to do pretty much a full length of this little embankment, but the nice thing is, is uh, pretty much by the time your sheep need feeding again, you've already done this again, so it's all grown back. It doesn't take long. So let's have a look back. Go to our sheeps. There we go. Oh, it's full. We can shut it off and just drive back. So, 34% wool. Do, 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 do. The, uh, where you can see Amazon Proppy Hopper, four wheel drive I, and the Dutes 7545 RTS, etc., etc., Deutz, whichever it is. Um, that is the Inspector 2013 mod. Good mod. Again, available on both the uh, FSUK and the Farming Simulator mod site.
In fact, uh, as far as script type mods, it's probably one of the handiest ones out there because it, uh, once we have three or four harvesters going at a time, you'll see that you can just look there and go, oh, I've got to stop mowing grass here for my stupid sheep or doing this or doing that because I've got two harvesters that are, you know, my true money makers and they're sitting there idle in the field. Well, idle in the field is not good. So this feeding trough will actually adjust how much it will hold based on the number of sheep you own. So, let's empty it here. Because we had 2,500, we filled it once and that's what this thing holds. So we'll fill it, see how much more it'll take with 50 sheep in it. Um, I'm going to say once it has enough, a little thing will pop up. Well, wow. it took that one too. So apparently it'll probably take at least 5,000. But for now, speaking of harvesters, we need to go and deal with one. This guy is full again. This is the biggest harvester they make and he only gets, uh, what, three rows done? So. And our trailer is now at 19%. There we go. There are a few different uh, tricks and things you can use to uh, make your picking up of your harvest a little bit easier. Like once he leaves, if I spin the truck around, or the truck, <laughs> the tractor and trailer around, and park it in the same spot I'm at now, but against the next full row, he'll actually empty out when he gets to the end of the row and then continue on. He might only have 20 or 30 percent in him, but he will empty out and continue on. So, I'll show you what I mean here. We'll just get out of the way. Let him turn around and then I'll see if I can park it just right. There we go. Yeah, I did a fine job there, Letty. What were you trying to do? There we go. This is what we want. And right about where he leaves that chaff line, I think. Get her to about there. That should do it. Alright. What else we got? Here we are in cow territory. Har cows, Billy. Har. This device here is also a mod, and I'm quite interested to get it going. I'll talk more about it when we actually start using it. Oh, not the thing I'm driving. No, sorry. That comes with the game. This is, of course, the Deutz Agrovector Telehandler, my favorite forklift in the game. But no, this thing here, this uh, straw device with the big grindy wheels up on the top, yeah, that's a mod. But like I say, we'll get into that when we get into that. This is where you store your silage. This is where the manure, the dry manure, connects. And then you have liquid manure over on the other side. So. Another of the improvements with this particular version of the map, uh, the one in the original Hagenstad map, had pretty much a big useless building over there. All you could do was park around it and that was a pain in the butt because the road that runs right along beside it this field here is grass as well this is for the cows but this road here well this is the road that the damn milk truck comes down so anything sticking out on this road will stop the milk truck and that causes believe me no end of problems so yeah anyways so I think, friends, that that is going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to get started feeding our cows, because I'm going to cut some grass into our trailer here, um, into the chaff trailer, and we'll drop that over at the cows. And we should be finished the first big field, and we can start gathering up some straw and some bales, and get that underway as well. 
But until then, this has been Species 7. Enjoy your weekend. I hope you like the show. Please leave a comment or a like or whatever you choose. And, uh, yeah, ciao for now.